What's up everyone, welcome to my 10th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the graph editor to edit the keyframe velocity. So go ahead and keep our position path just like this. And what we are going to want to do next is make a new rotation. So again, highlight your layer and click R for rotation. Now make sure that you can edit keyframes. And I'm just going to make three keyframes real quick. One in the middle. Um, I'll make this one. You can do anything. I'll make my 326 degrees. That's pretty random. And I'll make my next one. Actually, I, uh, I'll make this one 268. Sounds like good numbers to me. So Now, after you're done doing this, click home to go back to your beginning. And to adjust the keyframe velocity of this, we want to work with something called the graph editor. Now your graph editor is right here, so click that, and as you can see, your little um, keyframes converted into a nice graph. These yellow squares right here represent your keyframes. Now this is a visual tool that you can look and see just how much uh, your object is rotating. From left to right on the x-axis, left to right represents time. And on your y-axis, these numbers represent the degrees in which your object rotates. So in about one second, our object is going to rotate 300 degrees. That's what it's telling you right now. And again, if you want to adjust these, just grab a hold of them and either move them up, which is going to increase the rotation, down, which is going to decrease the rotation, left, which is going to make it rotate faster, in or right that's going to make it rotate slower so I'm going to leave mine to rotate about 200 degrees in about one second so once you learn how you can uh, move those this will give you a certain control over your rotation and again if you want to hover over a line a little um, box is going to pop up that show you in that point in time what the rotation of your object is going to be so after 20 frames Charlie is going to be rotated 135 degrees. Now to give you um, even more control over your rotation, just like we did in the last tutorial, we learned how to ease in and ease out, but we didn't exactly learn how to edit that manually. To do that, we need to use this little button, and this is the easy ease button. Go ahead and click that, and now you can visually see your object ease in and ease out. In the last tutorial when we just clicked the button we were kinda stuck with the defaults and in this tutorial we can edit the ease in and ease out using these handles. These handles just like using, uh, using them on your uh, motion path the greater you drag them the more um, I don't know how I call it severe or something that uh, your thing is gonna ease in or ease out as you can see it's gonna start out rotating real fast then at the end it's gonna um, kinda level off and rotate kinda slow so enough talking let me show you guys what this means as you can see Charlie starts out going real fast and then he slows eases down and this is represented again in our motion path the more dramatic the um, slope the more dramatic he's going to rotate and the more even the slope the less he's going to rotate so right here in about 10 frames he rotated about 250 degrees and then the next 10 frames he only rotated about 20 degrees so again that's how you can use your handles and your ease easy ease button to manually control the rotation and ease of your keyframes and again, if you want to toggle that off, just click this little button right here. This is the graph editor. And if you want to get rid of it completely, again, hold down control and click the button. And those will bring you back to the normal keyframes. So that is how you use handles and the graph editor to edit keyframe velocity. Uh, it probably doesn't sound too useful, but trust me, in the future, it's going to help you out a ton. So study that. Um, play around with the graph editor a little bit and the easy ease functions and once you learn all this you can move on to my next tutorial so I'll see you then thanks